I guess I'd try. I think, but I don't think I go three on three. But we'll see. Mm. What are we buying? It's a bit more tempo and gives me rip snail opener. Probably try to play BM pirates if I can, but I don't think I go three on three now. He plays Swabby down. What is, what is he trying to do? Maybe he has an Apple spell and he wants to buy that level next turn. But Apple is really weird with the zero. Hmm. Uh, I'm locking this. This is uh, uh, filling my curve and this is really strong. Because uh, you can't beat Ripsnail early. You just win every single fight. And then I have all the time in the world to get a comp together. I'd rather have this than this. Not not the one four. Okay, that's great. I don't care about this. Ah, uh, damn, no rips now. Uh, what are we doing? I could make this. Probably just do this. That's a bit weird. Now I have a shit ton of money. But I don't have that much tempo anymore because... Yeah. He has my ribs now. That's obviously pretty slow. Death rips now. Do I level? Is this too greedy? Beast is not the best matchup because he, have, he has token. Vanilla stuff and rip snail is so nuts. But I still think I can level. Can I? Uh, is it too greedy? Like, it's also efficient. I just sell these two, I go to 10 gold and I level. But how much damage do I take? He roaches tier 3. I can hit so many good cards. Muggler is great. The Skelly Machine is great. I think I do it, but maybe it's again too greedy what I'm doing. But I have double, I have double Skelly plus... Rip snail on turn six. Maybe it's too greedy though. Maybe. But what am I looking for in tier four? Cleave. Buff HP pirate is nuts. Yeah, that's uh, not beatable. It's too much summoning. That's I that's the issue. But we might not take that much damage here. 
Okay, die Hits are trash. And Lito hits the expensive shit. And that's good. Now it's a fine loss. That's a great loss. So now we are looking for good cards. Pirate and this is great. It's kind of weird because I buy 4 drops when I level to tier 5. But it's still worth I think. That's also good. Unless I don't hit my card. Maybe it's not good enough. Yeah, Brand is better, for example. Mm. McCausey. Do I just buy a random McCausey chat? Ooh, that's good. Do I buff him over the cleave? Nah, I don't think so. I think that we're going a bit far. How about locking this and next turn level up and try go for, to go for Eliza? I mean, this is my turn 7 board now. Isn't that like really powerful? My Cleave has a decent amount of HP. Uh, we have a shit ton of Skelly. What the fuck is this? He rolled that twice? That's really strong. Thank god the skellies uh, are there to save my ass. But holy shit, that's spooky. That's so much tempo if he gets like the full beast come together. I'm not worried about this guy in the long run, but in the short run this is toxic. If he rolls next turn some death little beast, like the next guy who's facing him takes a damage cap. Nah, damn, lame. Magma Lock? Is Magma Lock playable? I feel like Magma Lock is not playable at all. Lock has cost me basically one gold as well. I don't want to buy these other units, so... Oh, that guy is strong. He stabilized with this. But to be honest, like I... Uh... Might beat him because this is a composition I can counter. It's, as long as my uh, uh, rip snail is not getting sniped, I'm chilling, right? Like, this is so toxic, right? Like, rip snail is so good with skellies. Yeah, rip snail just carries my ass. As I said, when I, I when I, like, early on, if you rewatch this game, if I hit rip snail, I'm chilling, and yeah. It's so much tempo. I know we are open, I need a direction. Huh. My direction is the Keck W. Dead Stomper, Rochium, or what are we doing? Nala? I like Nala. But I have no engine. And I'm a full pirate MD. I guess I'd try, but I think I, the other one is a better one. Stepsister? No, this is good. Ah, yeah.
I don't know if I like what I do here. I could just play it safer and just go for like the the good comp, uh, like the Rochium comp. Like now I try to do like some scaling shit instead of roaching my way. So you can argue about this. Maybe this is just dumb what I'm doing. Like, as I said, the meta is so tempo oriented that I might get heavy punished for playing it like this. So I can definitely see uh, that being a misplay. Could just buy like the death. Uh, could have picked the death stamp up, have my death roller comp, and mop the floor of the lobby, and then die to like a scaling engine later or to a scaling gamer. Now I try to be a scaling gamer myself and might get punished with a top eight for that. But sometimes I also win the lobby now. I wonder how far we come with this. We are favored against him. That's a big deal. That is actually a big deal. This patch, I have a lot of success with this. Uh, Two step system. Step one, find good cards. Step two, play good cards. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you, uh, my friend. That's uh, actually helpful. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Is this a bot? That seems like a bot. What happened? Oh, that's actually a bit annoying. Close battle. Mm -hmm. 
16 bis Center. Nope. Not this time. Not this time, chat. No, 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 no. Get out, bro. Get out. That's really good. That's really good. Okay. We're actually having a game, chat. Believe it or not. But we're having a game. KT fits perfect here. Like I'm not losing to these beast, right? So we are chilling. So it's top two now, and we'll see what we uh, face. Uh, we face the Shadowbog. I don't know if I can beat Shadow, but I try. I need to get a Leroy going now. KT was kind of sad, like he buffed himself, the idiot. Got a book, my final boss. Good, it no, oh lord, I forgot about this. I mean, there were six stops are stretch, anyways. That's good. It's awkward because of his cleave effect, to be honest. The cleave effect is so bad for me. He has a taunted cleave, so he attacks with a cleave always in front. If I position like this, this and this gets cleaved. I don't like that idea. So I need to sell this and then I lose these two. I guess I can live with that. Do we buff HP? Or do we just play this down and let this guy get cleaved? So I have more units on board. Well, that's a good card. But I probably lose. We need to hit the good shit. That was good, that's good. There's a cleave. And we are favorite. Come on, chat. Let's bring it home. Let's bring it home, chat. Come on. First round goes to me. That's good. Still like this. What is he doing now? Probably playing around my shit, so I need to taunt another card, right? I'm pretty sure I need to, I'm supposed to taunt one more because my opponent will delay his cleave. Like, he's not stupid, right? He's a smart Andy. I will always respect my opponents. Like, I have another taunt now, because my opponent will try to delay his cleave. I like that line. KT eats this now. This buffs hopefully my cleaves, and then 
we are having our cleave direct, uh, protection with this random summoner. Cleave also got some love now, that's cool. Yeah, he delayed his cleave, as you can see, but I'm smart. Smart Benis, huh? Smart Benis. I have another taunt. I have another taunt, mate. I'm not stupid. Dude, this was close. There was almost the 8%er. Now, I predicted what he did. He delayed his cleave. Um, so I went for the taunt. GG.